The atrocious weather over the weekend did nothing to dampen the spirits at a Gower pub when the leader of the Scottish Conservative Party, Ruth Davidson, breezed in to address a gathering of Welsh Conservative supporters. Can everyone hear me? Am I loud enough? Because we Scottish women in politics do tend to shout at each other a lot, so I'm, I'm confident that it's... Sit down! Um, it's lovely to welcome you to this part of Wales. Um, the weather today is as tempestuous as uh, the political scene at the moment. Well, absolutely. I, I was in uh, Prizelli, Pembrokeshire last night with Stephen Crabb and uh, it was blowing a gale. Storm Brian had come in. The, you know, the, the, practically the slates were coming off the, the roofs. As soon as I got to the, the Gower border, the sun came out and uh, it brightened up. So it must really be God's country. Stephen Crabb has been very kind uh, about some of the comments he's made about the way that you handled the 2016 um, uh, election campaign in, in Scotland. Um, you, you must be very encouraged about the way in which you, you've achieved meteoric rise, really, and popularity. Well, we worked really hard in Scotland and we built a good team. And, and one of the things that we worked really hard at in the Scottish Parliament elections last year is to use the voting system to our advantage. The fact that you've got uh, constituency members, but also list members too. And, and because we knew exactly what we wanted to achieve and, and worked very hard to achieve it, we went from 15 members of the Scottish Parliament to 31. So we became the official opposition for the first time since devolution. So that was a, a really big step forward for us. The subject of Brexit and breakfast have been a source of confusion to Welsh Conservatives in the past. But how clear is the deal for Wales and Scotland now? At the moment, um, there are lots of powers that are held in Brussels. Now they have to come back to the member state first, the member states the UK, and then they can be further devolved. So both the Welsh Assembly and the Scottish Government, the Scottish Parliament, are going to get more powers than they have now. Now, obviously this is all part of the negotiation in terms of what comes back from Brussels and then what happens in that two-phase process. But where I get very angry with my opponents in Scotland and, and uh, is that Nicola Sturgeon wants to go immediately back into the EU. So she wants to hand all of those powers right back to Brussels. So I think some of the rabble-rousing she's doing in this um, is uh, perhaps a bit more about the day-to-day -day politics of Scotland and a bit less about the powers that she actually wants to see held in Hollywood. I want to ensure that the Brexit deal that we get is a deal that's good for the United Kingdom and also one that's fair to the EU27 as well because I think that's the way in which we all move forward together even once we leave the European Union. Um, there'll still be an important trading partner with us uh, and that's why I've been really consistent about talking about an, an open Brexit, one where we ensure that we've got a good tra trade deal, ensure that we're able to get our, you know, our, our goods to market. We've got a fantastic food and drink sector in Scotland that's been growing exponentially. Um, we also want to make sure that we keep the, the really high food standards because none of our farmers in Scotland want cheap imports flooding into the UK because Brexit happened. So I have my straps on, I have my suitors, and I made sure there's nothing on the wall behind me, so I, I should be fine. And that's just one of the things worrying MPs. Many have suggested that in the event of a leadership contest, the only thing preventing Ruth Davidson is that she sits in the wrong parliament. Well, I know what my job is, uh, and my job is in Scotland. So um, I worked really, really hard uh, to make sure that we kept the United Kingdom together. So you wouldn't be tempted to, uh, to, to, to look at a position if one was... Uh, well, I have got my eye on a, a bigger job than I've got now, and the, the job that I've got my eye on is to be the First Minister of Scotland. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working pretty hard to, to get to there. Why we're doing what we're doing... It's not often that a Scottish politician gets the chance to address a Welsh audience, but one can't help thinking that we're likely to see a lot more of Ruth Davidson here in Wales.